All right, uh, we're happy to have Aaron Douglas here with us for the 2008 Fourth Annual Open Lens Film Festival. And he's been our host, and he's uh, had workshops here for all of the people who registered. But we're fortunate also to have him uh, share some of his wisdom with us here uh, at DIVA. And for all of you viewers out there in computer land or wherever you may be. That's right. Uh, so Aaron, what was one of the things that made you decide to go into documentary filmmaking? Well, I have a degree in journalism, mm -hmm. and I always loved news. I still read the paper faithfully. Mm -hmm. Not such a huge television news fan, because they have to boil news stories down into such small bites that you're really not getting the whole story. Which I think is why I enjoy documentary filmmaking, because you have the opportunity to really tell a lot more about a story in great detail. So I like reading newspapers for that reason, and I enjoy watching feature-length documentaries and short documentaries, too. Mm -hmm. So this uh, begs a kind of philosophical question, which a lot of theorists agonize over when they write about documentaries, but how, how accurate are documentaries and how much of it is... is it's hype or... Yeah, hype or even... Propaganda. The, yeah, the, the, the director's... Opinion. opinion. Well, documentary filmmakers are always trying to get their point across. Mm -hmm. Some do it, I think, more objectively than others. Mm -hmm. um, my goal and what I try to get people to think about is it can actually be much more persuasive if you can use facts and hold a mirror up to reality mm -hmm. for people to see the reality and let them draw their own conclusions. That's, that's a better attack than trying to hit people over the head with too much information and too many facts that just make them tired and bog, bog them down mentally by um, too many facts that only show your side of the story. Mm -hmm. you know? So you don't think the Fox News approach is effective? No, I, no not at all. I think it's, it's much better to take a more journalistic approach yeah. to it and try to be a, think of yourself as being more objective you may feel a certain way personally, mm -hmm. and that's going to come across. It's not in the way that you end up editing it. There's no way that that won't come across right. unless you have somebody else edit it. But typically, people would only choose editors who are like them so, anyway, yeah. so it would still <laughs> come across that way. But it's important to always include the other side if you're talking about a controversial issue mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. not just focus on the one side. Have you made a, a documentary with a controversial issue at its core? Yes, a documentary about male couples. And did you get uh, a pro and con in that? We did. Um, we had uh, the relatives of some of these couples talking about how they loved the you know, the sort of traditional, we love the people but we hate the, the sin or, or whatever, whatever right, it is. Yeah. That, you know, we think is wrong with them. Um, I actually, there were three producers for the movie, and I wanted to get a couple more uh, people, maybe who didn't know these couples at all, right. who were more radical, who might just say. Yeah. But, but then that might have been going outside the box, because we were kind of staying with these couples and the people who knew them. Uh -huh. You know, we were kind yeah. of staying in that. So you're looking at sort of the family the family structure dynamics. and the family dynamics, yeah. yeah. That's, I'd love to see that. That's great. Can, can anyone see that? You want to pitch it uh, now? You can you see chance? the trailer at um, manyouhadinmind.com, uh -huh. and it is going to be distributed um, in sometime in 2008. Okay. It should be out in the big box stores, Best Buy, Amazon, mm -hmm. that kind of thing.